All right, so welcome back to the One Class channel. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your chemistry chemistry and math teacher for this session. Specifically, I'm going to focus today on uh, high school math problems. So, um, what we're doing in this session is we're going to go through about ten questions of math problems. And we're going to go over some solutions to these problems, and hopefully through that, we we'll get to understand the concept behind uh, those problems. And that will be able to you will have your best solutions going moving forward whether or not you're currently studying or if you're studying for a future course again my name is joey i'm currently an ontario school educator with one class and my teachable subjects are chemistry and soon to be mathematics in the ontario board as well so uh without further ado let's get started on today's problems i have about 10 problems they hover between about grade 8 to about grade 12 math for tuning from the us is um, probably from about pre-algebra all the way up to the pre-calculus level so let's get started on our problems today all right, so first question is asking us, how do you write 1.5 as a fraction? So very easy problem. And we're going to, um, you typically find in the pre-algebra course or in about grade eight to grade nine math. So let's look at this problem here. Let me just have my tablet the wrong way here. All right, let's get, let's start, sorry, this is question one here. So 1.5 as a fraction. So uh, let's first we want we would change a decimal into a fraction very very easily um, because we can first examine this number. So 1.5 here, we can see that this is in the tens digit. So therefore, we can actually create a mixed fraction first. So how do we do that? Well, this this to the left of the decimal place is my whole number. So I can say that this here is a 1, and then this 0.5 is going to be 5 over 10, right? Because again, I have this 5 here is going to be by numerator, so whatever is in the decimal is my numerator, and the denominator is simply just because depending on the digit. The denominator depends on the digit where this decimal falls in, and in this case, this is in the tens digits. So this is going to be over 10. So we have 1 and 5 tenths. So therefore, we can convert this now into an improper fraction. Right now, we have a mixed fraction. So we can convert this into a into an improper fraction. And by and how do we do that? Well, what we can do is we can simply just take our whole number, multiply it by the denominator, and we're going to add the numerator. So what's one times ten? One times ten equals ten plus 5. So 1 times 10 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So we're going to have 15 as our new numerator, and it's still going to be over our, our, our denominator before. So 15 over 10. And then finally, what we can do is we can reduce this fraction, right? We can reduce this into the lowest terms. As you can see, 15 and 10, the greatest common factor between 15 and 10 is going to be 5. So I'm simply dividing 5 on the top and divide 5 on the bottom. So you can get 3 over 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 10 divided by 5 equals 2. So therefore, our fraction is going to be 3 over 2. And this is going to be our answer for this problem. So as you can see, the solution is correct, because again, they have 3 over 2, or they can write 1 and 1 halves, depending on what fraction they were looking at. In this case here, they don't specify if it was a mixed fraction or an improper fraction. So what we can do, so 3 over 2 here would be a valid answer. So the solution is correct. 